In my interview yesterday with opposition leader Barry Jack Dio, one of the issues he spoke about was the financial impasse between the Barbies Bridge investors and the government. The government is saying no to a request for a 300% toll increase. I asked the former president if the company can take legal action against the government. Jack Dio said that he thinks that that is an option because the contract is a legal and binding contract. Can the government be taken to court by the shareholders of the bridge? Yeah, yeah basically, I think, I think so. I think um, if you have a contract, because there is a law, right, is the law. Remember, we all that went to parliament and was passed into law, the, the public-private partnership agreement. When Channel 2 Headline News contacted the Bridge Company's chairman, Dr. Surinja Prasad, he said that he cannot speak about that issue on the fly. He referred us to the company's public relations officer, Kit Nascimento. Efforts to reach Nascimento proved futile. Jack Dio also noted in that interview yesterday that potential public-private investors will be looking to see how the current government handles this situation. What, what will happen to see how they deal with this, this particular one will have implications for the Demerara Bridge, which they are hoping to do under the same model, a public-private partnership model. So I guess that's why the government is um, has to be extremely cautious because whatever they do here will send a signal to private investors for the Demerara Bridge. Today's Kaichiro News quoted Minister of Public Infrastructure David Patterson as seemingly questioning the validity of the contract. It is like the Ministry of Finance said, one of those mambo-jambo contracts. Patterson is quoted as saying, for Channel 2 Headline News, Wendell Jeffrey. Thanks for watching Headline News. Leave a like or a comment below. And for updates on the latest news happening in Guyana, click the subscribe button.